meatballs. Um, I was looking for an option that didn't fry in oil, so I thought they'd be less calories. So these are baked. Super easy to put together. And I'm making a double recipe today because I'm going to use some for tonight's dinner for Scott and I. And I'm going to put some in the freezer so that I can bake them off later for a party. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is put in um, ground beef. And it calls for a pound of ground beef ground lamb and ground pork, but the store didn't have any ground lamb, so I'm just going to use two ground beefs. Okay, I'm going to wash my paws before I put the other ingredients Next, in. we're going to add frozen spinach that has been drained thoroughly and um, thawed. So that's my spinach. Calls for finely ground Parmesan cheese. Thank you to the company that's already done all of the grating. If any true Italians are watching this, I know it's very painful because normally we grate all of this ourselves, even though I'm only an honorary Italian. Um, it calls for garlic powder. It calls for salt, red chili flakes, and it actually uses dried herbs, dried parsley and dried basil. Oh, my oven's preheated. Great. Um, but I like to use fresh when I have them, so I just went out to the garden, picked some parsley, picked some basil, but what you need to realize, and Scott, I don't know if you know this, when you're using a dried herb and you in the recipe and then you go to fresh, do you use more or less or the same amount? You use more of the fresh. So if the dried called for one and a half teaspoons, how many would I put in of the fresh? Uh, three. Yeah, I put in double. That's exactly right. So I chopped up a tablespoon of parsley and a tablespoon of basil because when you dry an herb, you concentrate the flavor. So that's why they're calling for a teaspoon and a half. But when you put in fresh, I'm putting in a whole tablespoon, which is three teaspoons. Then we're going to go ahead and put in an, our eggs. And the eggs act as what they call a binder. So that helps the meatballs stay together, as well as the breadcrumbs. You know, last time in the coffee seed muffin, I didn't use a big enough bowl. I'm seeing a theme here. Are You're you pushing people? this, yes. <laughs> I am always at the absolute edge of my bowl. Um, so now, this is where you just sort of mush everything together. And... Um, Try to get all those flavors incorporated into the meat. I'll see you back here in a few so minutes. All of my mixture for the meatballs is mixed together, and this smells so good because it has the parsley and the basil that are fresh. Mm -mm. Now it says to get out a scale and weigh the meatballs into 1.5 ounce portions. I'm not going to do that. I don't even have a bathroom scale. So I'm going to say, what kind of meatball would I like to eat? Well, if it's an appetizer meatball, it's actually going to stay on the smaller side. And it says to just put these right here. And later, as you can see, I have um, put out a little bit of breadcrumbs. I'm going to roll them in the breadcrumbs and then pop them into a greased mini muffin tin and bake those little suckers. And again, I've preheated my oven now before I started because it takes longer to preheat an oven than I think we realize. At least if you live in an old flat like I do and everything isn't like the most modern um, appliance. Now, I'm going to put these, even though these sort of have that um, Italian seasoning, I'm actually going to probably do these in a barbecue sauce, which I'm going to do in the next video for you, which is super easy to put together. It's one of my favorite barbecue sauces. but Frankly, I'd have this barbecue sauce on my breakfast cereal. It's so good. So <laughs> let's see. And the other thing is for a party, what you can do is put these all into a slow cooker and put them in with the sauce after they've baked. You pull them out of the pan, put them in there, and then just let them sit and be warm, and then people can come and put them on their plate. Or you can put them on a dish and put um, 
toothpicks on them and people can just eat them that way. So you want them more or less the same size again just for baking temperature but I'm not going to be as crazy about it as I might with um, like a cookie or something like that. And then it just says to roll these in more breadcrumbs and these are not seasoned breadcrumbs I don't think. Does that say seasoned? No, just regular. If you like panko breadcrumbs, do them in panko. Um, if I turn these midway through in the mini muffin tin, um, they turn out crispy on all the sides, which I really like, which is what you get when you fry these suckers in oil, but that's just a lot more calories. So there you go. Now I'm going to put these into my muffin tin that's been greased. Oh boy, these look super large to go in there. Maybe these aren't 1.5 ounce. Let's see how these turn out. If we screwed up, we've done good practice for the party. I'm going to wash my hands and throw these in the oven. I mentioned earlier that if you turn them, they get crispy on all the sides. So I'm going to turn these now in their little houses so that they get crispy on all the sides and I've been cooking them for about 12 minutes and I sprayed this so they're able to sort of roll around. These look so good, don't they? They smell so good too. There you go. Throw those back in for another seven minutes. I'm gonna see if my meatballs are done. It's been 20 minutes and those around so you can see those pretty puppies. Since there's pork inside here, we need to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. So what I'm going to do is take one of them out, sort of one of the, probably the larger one, and put it on my thing there. And then I'm just going to cut it open with the side of the, with the knife here, just to make sure that it's cooked through, like that. That's what you want to see, just all, um, no, no pink spots. So yes, my meatballs are done. It's probably a good idea to try this meatball, and I happen to know someone who might be interested in it. Well, the fix-it guy. Hello, dear. How are you? I am well. Good. Listen, you've been working hard, uh, working on the camera. Would yes. you like to do the honors? I would love to. Okay. Those are really good. <laughs> good. Can we sit down and eat? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We have to wait till everything we else is done. We need all that, done. really? Yeah. These are good. There's a complexity in them that I really like. Yeah? Yeah. Now, yeah. I thought we might add mm. some Worcestershire sauce the last time I made them for a little bit more flavor or maybe some lemon zest, but my daughter at the time said, no, mom, these are perfect. But I don't have the lamb in these, so that might have changed it a little bit too. Sure, that could change it. There's actually even a little bit of a pepper taste. Yeah, those are the red pepper flakes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, for the heat. It's good. Well, let's try it in a, um, the sauce, since that has Worcestershire sauce first. All right. And, uh, Should I finish this? Yeah, go on. Okay. I love you.